Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. So today we are sitting here with no makeup on. We are talking skincare today. And what I wanna share with you today is my little kind of secret on how to cure your skin condition. I'm gonna to talk to you today about how I cured my rosacea. So if you've followed me for a while now, I'd say within the past two years or so, maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, I was diagnosed with rosacea and my skin had taken a turn for the worse. I'm gonna post a picture here of how my skin used to look. This is again, like I said, I have to go back on my videos, but probably about a year and a half to two years ago, you will see a huge difference in my skin. That was no makeup. This is no makeup now. So in the time that I have been diagnosed with rosacea, it has been a huge wake up call to me. Huge. I have learned so much about skin on a whole different level. And honestly, I feel like I cured my rosacea. So I'm here today to share with you how you can really help yourself with rosacea, with acne, with other skin conditions that you are dealing with because there is one key secret to really, really finding the cause and the cure of your skin condition. And I'm gonna tell you that in a minute, but let me go back in my story just a minute here before I get ahead of myself. So when I was diagnosed with rosacea, about 18 months, two years ago, I was like in shock. I was like, oh my gosh, like the first thing that went through my head, I was like, I cannot have rosacea. I can't be dealing with red skin. I have seen people who have really bad rosacea and it's the redness and the bumps and all of that. And I was like terrified, to be honest. I was like, oh my gosh. So I being the crazy like researcher that I am, literally researched and researched and researched. I went to countless dermatologists. Some of them are very well-known dermatologists. I'm not gonna name names, but very well-known dermatologists. And they all said the same thing. There's no cure for rosacea. It just has to be managed. You can take antibiotics and you can take steroid creams and you can take your finacea gel and all of those like prescription kind of inflammation, steroid type creams. And at one point before I really got into my researching, I did some of those things. I was on a course of antibiotics. I did antibiotics, oh my gosh, for like three months and it did improve my skin and I didn't know any better at the time. It did improve my skin, but then you can't be on antibiotics forever. It's so bad for you. So there's a point where you have to get off those antibiotics. And at the time, my doctor at the time was like, you know what, you know, you can't stay on this level of antibiotics anymore. We're gonna cut you down to like a super low dose of antibiotic. So it's like an antibiotic slash more along the lines of like anti-inflammation. So it's gonna be like a super low dose that you're gonna stay on for a long period of time. So I never got to that point, thankfully, because now that I know how bad antibiotics are for you and how in turn it actually makes your skin worse, it's like I said, I've completely done a 180 and how I've learned about skin on a different level. So all in all that that's the route that when you go to a doctor and you go to a dermatologist, those are the things that I'm sure you all are hearing, whether it's rosacea, whether it's acne, whatever skin condition you are dealing with, it's a course of antibiotics. It's a steroid cream. It's something prescription like that. There has got to be something to this rosacea. And I know every doctor says there's no cure, but there has got to be something out there. And in this time period, I was going to, you know, back and forth to doctors. I was, you know, getting like little bumps on my skin. I was like, go to the doctor. I'm like, what are these little bumps? What's popping up on my skin? And they're like, oh, that's all part of the rosacea. We just have to manage it. It's gonna get, like, it can get worse. And the more little bumps are gonna pop up. I was like, no, like this can't be happening. So that is when I really, really started researching. I'm like, there has got to be more to this. There is definitely something more to this. I do not believe that there is no cure. I just don't believe that this is the root. It was just something in my gut feeling. I'm like, there's gotta be something, something more. So I was researching and researching. I mean, I would be laying in bed at night. Brian would be long asleep. And I was literally researching just all things that I could find out about rosacea and how to treat it and just, you know, the what could be possibly causing it. There's theories out there that it's like little mites, you know, on your skin, like little skin mites that cause rosacea. There's so many theories out there of acne, rosacea, psoriasis, eczema, of why people are getting those. But I'm gonna tell you guys that all of my research, all of my countless hours spent researching is actually what brought me to find the Osmosis skincare brand. That brand popped up in a couple different blogs. It popped up in a couple different um, 
like one of those like type of like review boards of people talking about like what worked for them and rosacea and this and that. So that is actually what brought me to find the Osmosis skincare brand is my tons of research on rosacea. That is how I found Osmosis. A long kind of story short, that is when I started talking to Dr. Ben Johnson and pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Now both Dr. Ben Johnson and Ben Fuchs are more of the holistic approach when it comes to skincare. And it all clicked right then. All skin conditions, rosacea, acne, psoriasis, eczema, all of those skin conditions are an internal issue. And it's something in your body that's going wrong and it's coming out in your skin. So you can take that knowledge, you can apply it to yourself and you can truly fix your skin condition at home by yourself without even having to go to a doctor or dermatologist because you have the power to change and really heal your body from the inside out. And then that is gonna really improve your skin. It wasn't until I applied the internal approach to my skin that I really had a huge change in my skin. The internal was key. And that is why I became so passionate and I could talk about this forever because truly it changed everything for me. So basically when I started talking to them about rosacea and how it really is an internal issue, we started going over just symptoms that I was having with my body that I didn't even really know that I was having or dealing with. And it was all things that I was kind of pushing aside, just like probably many of you do. And you don't even think of it as like a daily issue. But come to find out, I have food intolerances. I am intolerant to gluten and dairy and a couple other little things. But those two are a huge issue for so many of us and they will really affect your gut, therefore affecting your skin. You have to remember that rosacea, um, acne, all of that is inflammation in your body coming out. Acne is toxins in your body coming out. And rosacea is really an inflammation. So my gut has been off for a long time now that I think about it. My digestion has just been getting worse as I've been getting older. And finally, it hit a point where it came out in my skin. That's exactly what happens when you just all of a sudden realize you have rosacea. It's just like kind of you just wake up and you feel like you have it one day. But it's honestly your body has been building up inside all these toxins and all this inflammation. And and then it just releases it. If you are having digestion issues, which so many of us do because of the foods we eat, because of the pollution, because of everything surrounding us nowadays, a lot of us have digestion issues and you might not even know it. You could have food tolerances again and not even know it. But the thing is, is that inflammation is building up in your body because you have that immune response and also your digestion and your gut. It's not really absorbing all the nutrients like it should. So you are leaking toxins, like everything's building up in your colon and your intestines and you are leaking those toxins into your blood, into your body, and it's coming out as inflammation on your skin. And once I truly recognize this, like I said, my skin just completely changed. So basically what I did is I really worked on gut health, digestion health. I take supplements now. I really work on internal balance. And I'm going to share with you guys some of the things I, that I do, but I would definitely suggest like I did, I actually went to a functional medicine doctor and I got food intolerance tested. I got tested for all these different foods and really it gave me a good starting point as to what was inflaming my body. And like I said, for me, dairy and gluten was a big one. The functional medicine doctor that I went to said that actually dairy and gluten are huge for a lot of people and causes so many issues for so many people, which will come out in your skin and a lot of people don't even know it. Dairy, if you have acne, dairy, oh my gosh, is so bad for your skin. Dairy is horrible for your skin. And 99% of the time, if you have acne, cutting out dairy is gonna be huge for you. Same with gluten though too. Gluten really wrecks havoc on a lot of people's skin. So the dairy and the gluten was, um, it's, uh, it's key for a lot of people with skin conditions. So a good place to start if you are having a skin condition is to see what you could possibly be, be intolerant to, but you don't even need to go to a doctor to do that. You can do you know, food testing at home, take out dairy for two weeks, take out gluten for two weeks, see if your skin improves, see if the redness from your rosacea improves. Because I know for me, once I got my gut in check, my digestion in check, took out the foods that I'm intolerant to, the redness and my skin, broken capillaries, 
everything really, really went away. I was getting those little sebaceous hyperplasia bumps, which are like those little overgrowth bumps, and they completely went away once I got everything internal in check. So I'm gonna share with you some of the supplements that I take because again, these have been key, key into really balancing my internal issues. And I'm gonna start out with the two that honestly everyone should be taking, no matter if you have a skin condition or not. But if you have a skin condition, again, gut health, digestion health, it is so, so important. I cannot stress that enough. So you really, really, everyone needs to be on a pre and a probiotic. Now this is one that I actually just started taking not too long ago, and it's the RMS Beauty, it's called Within. It's the probiotic and prebiotic, so you have both in one. I've tried many different probiotics out there actually. I kind of can see what works best for me, I can feel what works best for me. A lot of times probiotics are very individual, so you might have a different result by one company than I do. But I can definitely tell a very positive difference in my whole gut and digestion with this brand. So I've been really, really loving this brand. Like I said, I've definitely tried a bunch of different probiotics out there. Some of them I really liked. Some of them I just felt like did nothing for me. Now I will say that Dr. Ben Johnson, I showed him the back of this brand right here and I was like, is this a good one? Does this look good? Because he's actually working on his own probiotic supplement right now, which I cannot wait for because he's so knowledgeable with internal supplements and you know the whole holistic approach to skincare. It's not just what you put on your skin, it's the whole everything. It starts from the inside, it's what you put on your skin on the outside, it's a whole approach. So I showed him what's in this probiotic and he was like, you know what, actually that one's a pretty good one because I've showed him many before and he was like, nope, that one's not good, that one's not good because a lot of probiotics just don't cut it. They're just not made properly, they don't have the right ingredients. This one he actually did like and I must say this one I can really feel work for me. But being on a probiotic is something that we all need to be doing because really your gut can get thrown off check so fast and that is where a lot of skin conditions kind of start because the bad bacteria in your gut really takes over and it just throws your whole body off. You really have to do a probiotic and prebiotic to keep your gut in check, especially with all the foods and just everything that we're eating nowadays. It just really, really throws off your gut. So being on a probiotic and a prebiotic is so important. And remember when I said that you can't be on an antibiotic for very long? It's because antibiotics, and this is why they just wreak havoc on your skin, really ultimately. The reason is is because antibiotics actually completely wipe out all bacteria in your gut, whether it's good, whether it's bad. And that's why you see some improvement in your skin when you're on an antibiotic for your skin, but it's completely destroying all the good bacteria in your gut. So when you come off your antibiotic, the bad bacteria just over floods your system and your skin will just be worse than it was to begin with. So antibiotics are the absolute worst thing you can do for your skin. Even when I'm like sick and I had strep throat, I had to go on an antibiotic and I was like, no, because I know it's just gonna throw off everything internally. So probiotics are just so, so important. Really stay away from antibiotics. You can completely change your skin without doing that whole medical approach, honestly. You can completely take control and change your skin internally at home by yourself. The first step is this right here. The second thing that all of us need to be on, again, whether you have a skin condition or not, but if you do have a skin condition, the digestive enzymes are an absolute must. I take a digestive enzyme before every single meal. Not only does it really help with like bloating and just like feeling like blah, but it helps you really absorb the nutrients from the food that you're eating. And therefore you don't have as much like waste or toxins or anything that's sitting around in your, you know, digestive tract leaking out into your bloodstream. Like you want to absorb everything. So digestive enzymes are an absolute must. As we get older, you naturally lose those digestive enzymes in your body. So you might notice that as you get older, you have more digestion issues. You might have more bloating and staying regular type issues. That is all fixable with a digestive enzyme. I have noticed myself, this is gonna be TMI, but notice with myself, like I stay regular, I have like less bloating, all of those issues because of this. So this is another thing that is an absolute must if you have a skin condition or not, we all need to be on a digestive enzyme for your skin in general and for your health. So now I do take other supplements as well and if you go back to some of my videos with Dr. Ben Johnson 
and pharmacist Ben Fuchs, you will notice how they talk about supplements and how you really want to get the right supplements for your body and for your skin because it really does make such a difference. So now they have both helped me along the lines of what I should be taking personally. Everybody is gonna be a little bit different, but for skin health and digestive health in general, that is my goal and that is my aim. So this is what, you know, the rest of everything I take. And another supplement that honestly I really swear by is this one right here. This is chlorophyll. This is like a green superfood. It is so good for digestion and gut issues, all of that it just really helps to kind of like keep you clean if you want to say but it really does the trick with just aiding in digestion you will notice that everything just feels like lighter and cleaner this is kind of like a body detoxifier as well as it's also alkalizing for your body so you kind of want to work on making your eating choices and just lifestyle a little bit more alkaline. A lot of the foods, a lot of things we intake are very acidic -y on the body and that in turn is gonna cause inflammation in the body. So if you have psoriasis, if you have again rosacea, it's all about inflammation in the body. So you want to make everything a little bit less acidic in your body. And I did a whole alkalizing video. I'm gonna link that video actually down below because I get into the like alkalizing your system a little bit more in that video. So I'll link that down below, but this is a great way to body detoxify as well. And chlorophyll, I really, really noticed a difference since taking that as well. Another one is turmeric. Turmeric I take every day. This is amazing. This is so good again for the skin and inflammation. It's great for inflammation. So I love this. This is another supplement you've seen me talk about in so many videos. And I actually just got a new one in the mail just yesterday. You're going to see the old one in my empties video. It's the Sunita's Complexion Clear, and I love this for just whole balancing the skin. It has amazing ingredients. It literally has everything that your skin needs to stay healthy, to stay clear. It's got your vitamin A. It has all your vitamin Bs, including B12. It has biotin. It has zinc. It has selenium, copper, vitamin E, and it has NAC, NAC, which if you've heard Ben Fuchs talk, Ben Fuchs talks about NAC, NAC in so many videos and how important it is because it's actually a liver detoxifier. And that's super important, keeping a clean liver for healthy everything, healthy skin. So this literally, the ingredient deck on here is amazing if you suffer from acne or inflammation, any skin condition, this just, I swear by this. I also take the Sunita's, the EFA Complete. This is your omega three, six, and nine. And I've actually tried again on and off different types of omegas. And this one I actually love the most. It has the perfect blend of your three, six, and nine. So a lot of them have either a very high amount of nines, a high amount of six, a high amount of threes, but they're not the right ratio. And Ben Fuchs actually is the one that formulated the Sunita's line as well. So he actually explained to me that when you're taking an omega supplement, it's actually super important that the ratios of the three, six, and nine are at a certain ratio to get the best benefit for your skin. So this one's really good because it does have that perfect balance and ratio of all of the omegas. And omegas are so important because one, when I went to the functional medicine doctor, I was actually really low on my omegas. And I know for me, I have definitely seen a difference since taking my omegas. So basically omegas are really, really great for inflammation. Again, it really helps to lower the inflammation in your body. I have heard people say that taking their omegas, they have had like less joint issues with arthritis and anything that's causing inflammation in your body, omegas, are just so, so beneficial. And then the other thing that I'm taking, which actually I just started taking not too long ago, Ben Fuchs again, this is his new collagen recovery complex. Now this isn't very like anti-inflammatory or, you know, like skin condition type of thing. Like the rest of the ones I just showed you are my must haves for skin conditions, inflammation, all of that stuff. This one I'm taking because it's so anti-aging and the benefits are so amazing. So this is Ben Fuchs latest supplement. Again, it's the collagen recovery complex. Everything in here is formulated to give you the connective tissue health that is going to be amazing and anti-aging for your skin. So really aging skin is the breakdown of connective tissue. Everything in here is made to boost the health of your connective tissue, which in turn is going to help with your skin and anti-aging so 
amazing. I absolutely love this. I think the ingredients in here are so beneficial for anti-aging and just keeping everything just in check with the anti-aging. So I love this. And like I said, that is everything. Oh, no, that's not everything I take. I do take one more thing. And this is the apple cider vinegar. I take this three times a day. I take it very first thing in the morning. I take a tablespoon. Yeah, I take it a tablespoon three times a day, but I take this first thing in the morning right away. This is very alkalizing for the body. So overnight your body just naturally becomes more acidic -y. So I like to wake up and start knocking out that acidity with a shot of the apple cider vinegar. And not only is this alkalizing for the body, but it's so great for digestion as well, which is why I take it in the morning and then I take it before lunch and then I take it before dinner, just like I do with my digestive enzyme. I kind of do the same thing with the apple cider vinegar. It's alkalizing and it's amazing for your digestion. And that is honestly what I do. That is what I take. Some people might think that's a lot of supplements, but in the world that we live in today, the food that we eat, just your body cannot absorb. Your body has issues. And these have been hugely, hugely beneficial and honestly a game changer for my skin. Once I figured out and once I was taught, I should say, because I didn't figure this out myself, I was taught by the best people because they're so ahead of the game. I'm telling you, they're so ahead of the game and that's what I absolutely love. But once they told me internal issue, this is what you need to do. This is what you have to fix your gut, your digestion, all skin conditions can be fixed with internal proper balance. That is when I saw the biggest change in not only my skin, my skin get, did a complete 180. You can see my skin now with no makeup versus how it looked a year and a half ago. I mean, it is completely, completely different and it's all because of internal balance. So once you can figure out your internal issues and what they might be, you know, do your food diary, do your food elimination, see what what your triggers are. You will see a change in your skin. Give it two weeks on and off different foods. You know, start your probiotics, start your digestive enzymes. I am telling you, you can fix any skin condition with balancing out your internal issues. And the thing is as well is that your skin is telling you that there's something wrong with your body. You know, Ben Fuchs and I have had this conversation so many times. He's like, you know what? You have saved your health in the long run by figuring this out now and fixing your internal issues now. Because down the long run, if you didn't fix your rosacea, if you didn't really truly find this cure, you could have health issues down the line because it's your gut, your insides are telling you something's wrong. Your skin is telling you something is wrong internally. So every skin condition is telling you fix something. So for me, that is just super powerful. I am so passionate. Like I said, I want to scream it from the rooftops that you have the power to change your skin. And I hear all the time, you know, no skincare is working for my rosacea. No skincare is working for my acne. And I just, and, and I do tell people all the time, I'm like, it's not working because it's not the, like your skin doesn't need that skincare right now. Your skin needs you to fix the internal issue first. Skincare is like the icing on the cake. Skincare is gonna take your skin to the next level. But if you don't fix the internal issues first, no skincare is gonna fix your rosacea. No skincare is gonna fix your acne. That is all internal, so it starts there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's a little bit long, but like I said, I could honestly go on and talk hours about this stuff because I'm so passionate about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link and list all of these supplements that I personally take down below, but I definitely suggest going to talk to a functional medicine type doctor if you have any questions regarding anything personal that you might be seeking or needing because everybody's going to be slightly different. And like I said, some of these are things that we all need to be on, but then some of them I like to take because I feel like they definitely work good for me, but they might not be the same for somebody else. So it's always good to really figure out what your internal needs are. So again, thank you guys so much for being here and listening to me ramble on here. I will see you guys next time. Bye.